the starters. Visiting the Sacramento Kings. At small forward, Harrison Barnes. At the other forward position, Keegan Murray. At shooting guard, Kevin Herter. At center, Demontis Sabonis. At the other guard position, De'Aaron Fox. The head coach of the visiting team is Mike Brown. as well we are now into November so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference you look at Sacramento a better start would be ideal but right now they're 10th in their respective conference and of course the Rockets a game back well I think for the Kings looking back at how strong they finished last season it's tough to believe they're just an average team at this point of the year last year looked effortless for this squad not so much this year they're having to grind out some wins the last year they would have breezed through. Now the starting group for the Sacramento Kings. Fox and Herter man the guard spots. Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. And it's Barnes in at the three spot. And for the Rockets, Smith plays the four with Shingoon at the five. Green and Brooks on the perimeter. And it's Van Vliet in at the point guard position. Well, Brent, an interesting matchup here tonight, especially when you take a closer look at the center position. Well, for the over 60 crowd, this is a fun one, B.A. It's not often that we highlight the center position as being the key matchup, but the big men on these teams, they deserve attention. It's going to be great watching them tonight. Barnes, no good. And Van Vliet has got the ball here for the Rockets. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And here are the Kings now. And the call will be against Fred Van Vliet. That's his first foul of the game. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. from outside that one's good and it's Barnes with the assist and that's what Murray does best spot up and knock it down here's Brooks picked by Smith Brooks drives in and he jams it home with authority now that's how you capitalize on a screen yeah, good positioning too gave him a clear path to the hoop Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Now here's Fox. From down low, and the shot goes. Yeah, Shooters Fox. tend to be hungry, but this time Herder finds an open teammate. 
Green against Herter. Shoots from the baseline. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. This takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. It's a bonus. The pass to Fox. That three's off the mark. Herter against Green. It's rebounded by Sabonis. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Fox up top. Green covering. Fox feeling it out a bit. Picked by Sabonis. Five to shoot. Again, the miss by Fox. The Rockets have gone two of three from the floor. And when you talk about raw speed and quickness... No one better than De'Aaron Fox. B.A., if we went into the locker room and looked at the dry erase board, the number one thing up there on the scouting report is beware of De'Aaron Fox in the open court. Such a tremendous finisher and such a great attacker in the basket. Rockets, Dylan Brooks. Two shots. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Well, Mike Brown is known as a great defensive coach, but he led the Kings to an all-time great offensive season in 2023. Yeah, and they actually ranked towards the bottom of the league defensively. So for them, going forward, we'll see if Brown's expertise can bolster the Kings' defense. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. You have to respect Brooks' approach to the game. He's always looking for little ways to improve and wants every year to be his best. With the 10-footer, no good. A bit long that time. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for the Rockets. This is the first they're seeing of Sacramento. And they'll meet three times overall. A little bit of a tone setter here tonight. And I don't know if I'm going to call these guys rivals, but as conference opponents, they're still familiar with each other. Neither team will want to give an inch in this first meeting. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Brent, you got to be impressed with Kevin Herter, specifically how efficient he is. Yeah, there's a completeness to his game that I think coaches appreciate. It's not just that Kevin's a knockdown shooter. He's able to handle the ball, manipulate pick and rolls, and he continues to show that he's got some improvement and room to grow. Free throw good. Herder. Grant, your first year in the league, 1995, the Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem the Dream made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively, long and quick on his feet. That 95 Houston team was incredible. Herder doesn't get a lot of these freebies, but this guy can do so many other things on the floor for your team. Van Vliet against Fox. Smith in the high post. Pulls it from the top of the key, and he knocks the jumper down. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. Van Vliet against Fox. Unloads. And there's Herter. That's good on the assist from Fox. Yeah, shooter's got to shoot, so when Herter gets the ball, he's not going to hesitate. On the wing, Green, Herder defending. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Hauled in by the Kings. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. That was such a closely contested game. They just didn't have the energy to win the tug of war at the end. Now here's Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. And how about Sabonis getting up there and rising up to slam down? to Van Vliet. Green with the ball. Smith outside. Launches it. Can't hit. One for two now. Sacramento has gone one for three from beyond the arc. And here's Sabonis. 
Here's Herder. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. First person wonder with talent around him how much more Kevin Herter's offensive game can grow. The NBA season just getting going. Fall is coming in full force. Grant, there's nothing quite like this time of year. It's the best time of the year. And I'm chomping at the bit. I mean, every fan is excited and, of course, optimistic. You know, fans all over are excited to see the new faces on their team. So nothing can beat some good old basketball in the fall. And the shot goes down. Offensively, Brooks can be just relentless, constantly looking for chances to get his team points. Pass to Herder. Sabonis with a screen on Van Vliet. Down low. And here's Fox. Outside Herder. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Smith finds Van Vliet. Shangoon, a screen on Fox. Inside. Oh, Sabonis with a block. Sabonis has to use good timing in order to block shots. That time he did. Free throw line jumper. And he gets the bucket. And you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to, but not him. To the middle. Pass to Shangun. From downtown. Knocks down the long J. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. For Sacramento, they've gone 6 of 11 so far. Sabonis outside. Over Shangun. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Shangun's got four rebounds now. Van Vliet, the pass to Green. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Green's got six points. Hasn't taken him any time to get into a groove. Three or four to start things off. Fox, the pass to Murray. Sabonis with a screen on Smith to the paint. Sabonis in the post. Working on Chengu. Sabonis can't hit. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for Houston. Coming off a win against the Hornets. And I think they were prepared to face pressure D. But that never materialized, so they took advantage. It took just a little bit of time, but once they figured out the D on that night, man, their offense was rolling. Now here's Fox. Sabonis, the pass to Herter. Gets the three ball to go. Ten points for him. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Fox against Van Vliet. Smith with a screen on Fox. To the wing. Right side. Smith passes to Brooks. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Brooks has got his third bucket of the night. The Kings trailing. Fox outside. Inside. Ching Goon with a steal. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. Brooks against Barnes. Brooks with it. Really played well against Charlotte in his last game. And such a nice move to make that bucket possible. And it's a three-point Houston lead. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Back to Fox. That one falls. Even nice feed Fox. from Sabonis. Sabonis has got his third assist of the night. Becoming more confident and a little bit more poised in terms of how he scores is De'Aaron Fox. Shangun, a screen on Herder. And here's Green from the arc. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got four rebounds in the game. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Outside Barnes. Fires from deep. And the Kings with another Barnes. three. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Now here's Brooks. He's got 11. 
the attack. Green. Yep, that one goes. Green's got eight. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Timeout call, Sacramento. Green's checked in for the Rockets. Thompson comes in for Van Vliet. And a new group getting ready for the Kings. Lyles, he's checked in for Murray. Dorte comes in for Barnes. Monk, he's checked in for Herter. And Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. Here's Dorte. Now here's Monk. Pass to Dorte. Shot clock at five. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. Drew the contact from long range, and he almost got the hoop to fall. Instead, he'll shoot three at the line. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. And B.A., no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. And he hits the first of three. Well, Brent, some gutsy trades by Sacramento has really put them on the map in the West now. Yeah, no doubt. The, the move for Tyrese Halliburton to be traded, a guy that they really loved, but he was showing some signs. That was gutsy. And you have to give them credit. They brought in Sabonis. He's completely changed the complexion of this team. He's gotten the Aaron Fox rolling. And this team has confidence after appearing in the playoffs for the first time in a very long time. Last one's off. They'll settle for two. And Grant, the Rockets opening up the pocketbooks. Brought in several vets over the summer. Yeah, I mean, Van Vliet and Brooks are the big names. I mean, they wanted to spend to get leaders to help their young core. We'll see how it mixes, but they feel now it's the time to make their move. Now here's Shangun. He was another key contributor in that win against Charlotte. Two minutes. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Mitchell against Thompson. Picked by Sabonis. The three from Mitchell. Smith with the rebound. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Now here's Thompson. Still no points. Got it. Good job in the low post. You know, inside is where Thompson excels and the concentration allowing him to finish there. To the middle. Here's Sabonis. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. The Rockets trail. Thompson outside. Down low. And it's Whitmore missing. Sacramento has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Outside Monk. And here's Sabonis outside. Buries it from three. And now it's a five-point Sacramento lead. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Thompson outside. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Whitmore. That went off the back iron and out. And it's Sacramento's ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Mitchell, the pass to Monk. Now Sabonis. Here's Duarte. No made baskets yet. And here's Sabonis. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. It's been all about Kevin Herter for the Sacramento Kings. He put together 10 points in the quarter. We'll be right back. The Kings, 31.
just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Kings. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out a great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. They've got Whitmore, Thompson out there with Reggie Bullock. Then there's Jeff Green, and it's Shangoon in at the center position. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. First personal foul. First team foul. On the wing, Thompson. He's covered by Fox. Left block shot on the way, and it's Thompson getting it to go. You see there, Thompson does a good job of sneaking into the lane and finishing. Up top, McGee. Pass to Lyles. It's Dorte on the wing. Here's Lyles. There's the three. Thompson pulls it in. Looking comfortable now, three for three. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, even though Kevin Herter knew early on that basketball would be his path, he said, quote, I played baseball up until my senior year in high school just to be a kid. You work different muscle groups, specializing in sports as an early age is not something that I really agree with. Sports are supposed to be fun. Brian? Well, that's the truth. Something we all need to remember. Thanks, Allie. And so it's Houston with it. The Kings getting their last shot to go. From the strike, Thompson finds Shingun. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. The officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. We always see trends come and go in the NBA, Graham. It seems like in the current era, the pick and roll is the go-to offensive set. Oh, no question, B.A. To be competitive these days, you have to be able to run the pick and roll very, very well. And that's why lead guard play is so important right now in the league. Free throw good from Shingun. And the league's longest playoff drought was snapped last season by Sacramento. Like the beam, Brent. Sweet, sweet relief, B.A. First postseason for the Kings since 2006. And they did it in such convincing fashion. I mean, these guys weren't coming in as if they had no chance. They came in confident and hungry, and they want to get back. Off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. Sacramento has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Fox, the pass to Monk. Bullock puts it in. The Rockets shooting a fantastic 57%. Pass to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Now here's McGee. Here's Fox. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Fox has got eight. Fox steady in traffic and a reliable shooter. For Houston, they've gone three of three to begin the second. Fox against Thompson. Outside, Green. Green, a screen. Whitmore. Another shot. And it's Green missing. The Kings leading. Dorte, the pass to Fox. To the inside. And McGee with the stop. More and more improved floor awareness for De'Aaron Fox. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for Houston. 
They've only given up six here in this quarter. Pass to Whitmore. The three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. McGee's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Duarte. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Here's Whitmore. No points so far. Now Green. Monk covers. From the right block. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Well, the Kings shooting at a 43% clip during the second. Duarte. Pass to Lyles. Back to Duarte. Shoots from 12. It's good. Duarte's gotten his first basket of the night. Well, that screen wasn't quite as effective as it could be. However, they find a way to get it done. Credit the shooter for overcoming that aggressive defense. Now here's Thompson. He has six. Outside for Green. Pass to Thompson. Shot clock at six. They get back on track. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. We see a taste of Thompson's ridiculous athleticism. Keeping his body under control while taking a hit. Here's Fox. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox. Two shots. First free throw is good. Even De'Aaron Fox has talked about how he's the fastest player in the league. The cool thing about it is night after night he seems to prove it. Murray's checked in for Sacramento. Herter comes in for Duarte. And both free throws good for Fox. Well, Grant, for Sacramento, 2023 was a year to celebrate their first playoff appearance in 16 years. And they did it with a high-octane attack. Their offensive rating that season was historic, and it was just what the Kings needed to return to contention. Now here's Brooks. 11 points in the game. Thompson goes in. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Thompson's got eight here in this quarter. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Lyles, the pass to Murray. And the three off target. The Rockets have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Brooks against Fox. Brooks, the pass to Shangun. Here's an eight-footer. Rebounded by Lyles. For Sacramento, they've gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Brooks against Fox. Lyles a screen. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Thompson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Personal foul. It's on Keegan Murray. I like how Thompson put pressure on the D, taking it strong near the hole. Thompson. Well, Grant, Amin Thompson is proof there are more routes than ever to get to the league. I mean, yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Asar, coming through overtime elite. A different path, but both high lottery picks, and it worked Good out break. for them both. That one misses. And what I like about Thompson, along with the high-level athleticism, he has a high-level feel for the game. Demata Sabonis, he's checked in for the Kings. Barnes comes in for Monk. Good on the second one. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Sabonis outside. Pass to Barnes. Now here's Murray. 
Here's Herter, defended by Thompson. And it's Herter penetrating. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Herter's got 12 points in the game. Not settling for jump shots there as Herter gets his way on the drive. Timeout called. Houston. Checked in for Shangun and Jalen Green subbed in for Thompson. And the Rockets with possession here. It's a five point game. And so the ball out of bounds. Herter touched it last. Here's the group of players who had the most steals in the league last season. In the third spot, Fred Van Vliet. Last year, he was really opportunistic defensively, creating havoc. Smith against Sabonis. Smith outside. Five on the clock. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Rebound by the Kings. Sabonis has got a seventh rebound here tonight. Fox against Brooks. Fox outside to the middle. Sabonis, the pass to Barnes. Over Van Vliet. Can't nail the jumper. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Back to Smith. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got three assists in the game. Using that big frame of his inside. Smith has what it takes to be a major presence in the paint. Here's Fox. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Second Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Whitmore's checked in for the Rockets. One shot. Free throw, no good for Fox. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. Herter passes to Fox. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Fox has got eight points here in the quarter. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Drops in the three. If you let him, Van Vliet will just live at the heart. I mean, he shoots fearlessly from out there. Van Vliet against Fox. Pass to Sabonis. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Back comes Houston in transition. Van Vliet misses. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Back to Herter. Sabonis with it. Guarded by Van Vliet. Fox outside. Takes a three. That one's good. Seven for ten now. Solid in the first. Fantastic here in the second. He was just waiting for the moment. Brooks against Barnes. And it's Brooks missing. And so it's Barnes with it. He brings it up for the Kings. Sabonis outside. Pass to Fox over Van Vliet. A rare miss for him. For Houston, they've gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Brooks outside. He takes it in. Here's Smith. And another miss by Houston. Sacramento has gone 1 for 3 from downtown here in the second. Good from Fox on the assist by Barnes. And now it's a nine-point Kings lead. Tough matchup here, and Fox has it going right now. The lefty getting some room and making it happen. Timeout called. Houston. And the Rockets making a change here. Shang Goon's checked in. The Kings also with a sub. Monk, he's checked in for De'Aaron Fox. Shangun finds Brooks. Out 
outside, Green. Barnes against Brooks. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Shangun. Got it. Two for five now. Sacramento has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Sabonis with a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Murray for three. Another three for Sacramento. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Pick by Smith. Here's Brooks. Dumps it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Yeah, I know the guys love to see Brooks get in a groove like this. It gets the whole team fired up. Outside Herter. A minute and a half left in the first half. Pass to Barnes. Now Monk. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's the three fly. He's now one for two with that bucket. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. The Rockets shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Van Vliet, the pass to Green. It's Shangun, high post. And that comes off the assist by Green. Shangun's got eight points. Yeah, that first quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. Pass to Barnes from deep. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got four rebounds now. And here is Green. Shangun with it. And here's Brooks. Herder defending. Back to Brooks. Inside. And stolen by Murray. Here we go. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Well, getting to the right spot so important in the offense, and Herter positioned himself well in the fast break. Van Vliet outside. Smith with a screen on Monk. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. No good there. And so it's the Sacramento Kings. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team back after this. Greetings, everybody. Before we review the first half, let's take an early season peek at how the Western Conference is shaking out so far. Taking a look here at the Rockets, they knew it was going to be a tough year, and I got to say, it's been hard to watch them fight, looking through all these challenges. You hope they're learning something out there, challenging times for the franchise. Shifting focus now to that first half we just watched, a grueling game so far for the Rockets. You can point to their long-range shooting as the main problem area. They're taking a lot of threes, and their percentage is hovering in the low 30s. That's too cold. 30 degrees, you need a jacket for that. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second-half action with Brian Anderson and company. It's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Now this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Now Green. Checking out the group from Mike Brown to start the second half. Herter and Barnes fill the wings. Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. And it's Fox in at the point guard position. And that's just an all-around talent there. I mean, Green is dependable at finding his open teammates. Up top, Sabonis. 
pass to Barnes. They kick it out to Murray. Picked by Sabonis. Four on the clock. Three-pointer. Fox. The Rockets pull it in. Rangoon's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Brooks, the pass to Van Vliet. Let's it go from the wing. Another one falls for Houston. I mean, a smart shooter. I like watching Van Vliet measure the defense and stick them with the J. Sabonis outside. Outside Herder. The shot is good on the assist by Sabonis. Three points. Sabonis has got five assists tonight. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. Now here's Van Vliet. Five points in the game. Spins with a nine-footer. Rebounded by Fox. Not his best night and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. The Rockets have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Green against Barnes. Jalen Green pushing through inside. Green. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. Up top, Sabonis. Over Shingun. And there's Sabonis. That one's good. On the assist by Fox. Fox has got four assists in the game. And lead against Fox. And lead the pass to Shingun. Let's it go from deep. Another three from Houston. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well, ball snapping, and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Now here's Sabonis. Nine points in the game. Goes up at the strike. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Van Vliet. Down low. Here's Brooks. And again, it's Houston. A throwback wing. Dylan Brooks is very comfortable working down low. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. And lead against Fox. Now here's Murray. Shane Goon with a steal. Smith outside. Here's Brooks. And slammed at home. And a foul. A chance at another point at the line. It's on Keegan Murray. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. The possessions is way more efficient, I think, here tonight, taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. The free throw dropped for Brooks. Fox with the ball. 19 points in the game. Driving to the basket. While we have a moment, let's check out the highest scoring teams in the league last season. The Kings, number one. The way this team played on the offensive end last year was remarkable. It seemed like every night they got everything they wanted and then some. Free throws good for Fox. good on the second free throw and it's Houston's ball they're on a 15 to 6 run outside Green Van Vliet with a screen on Barnes Green the pass to Van Vliet and he's going to the line for two the official saw contact while he was going up and the defense is all over Van Vliet inside but he sticks with it and wins a trip to the line for his efforts Van Vliet First free throw is good. Mm -hmm. 
That one drops. He ties it up. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Pass to Sabonis. Outside Barnes. Fox outside. And out of bounds. Houston will have it. You know, Brent, one thing about DeMontis Sabonis, he definitely helps their offensive flow. Yeah, he's one of the better screeners in the league. And you know this, Grant. Those dribble handoff plays create so much movement, space, and rhythm to an offense. That's where Sabonis really excels. Now here's Shangun. 14 points for him. And it's good. Two points. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Sacramento again missing. The Rockets on offense. They're on a 19-6 run. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Called in by the Kings. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Now here's Fox. Give him 20. Kicks it out to Barnes. Murray passes to Sabonis. Six to shoot. Shoots over Shingun. Goes back up. Back to Murray. Outside Barnes. Pass to Sabonis. Now Fox. It's rebounded by Shangun. Shangun's got rebound number 11. Brooks against Barnes. Back to Green. From the arc. Green. Money from deep. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Kings. Trailing by five. Sabonis with a screen on Van Vliet to the paint. And there's Sabonis. That one's good. On the assist by Fox. Sabonis has got 11 points. On the wing, Brooks. He's guarded by Barnes. Smith with a screen on Barnes. Barnes against Brooks. Van Vliet outside. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Murray. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Fox against Van Vliet. Fox, the pass to Murray. Here's Barnes. Sabonis with a screen on Brooks. Inside. Shot's good by Sabonis. Sabonis. And it's now only a one-point rocket lead. Set a solid screen. Get yourself open. It's a textbook play from Sabonis. Now a timeout called by Houston. You watch Harrison Barnes, Brent. He's a steadying influence out there. I feel like Harrison Barnes has been an example for younger players since he was, in fact, a younger player. Yeah, I mean, this guy goes about his business as a professional night in and night out. Green's checked in for Smith. The Kings also with a sub. Monk's checked in. Pass to Brooks. There's the double with Herter. Ooh, stolen by Murray. And he's all alone. Here's Monk. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. And Murray just Murray. igniting the break with that steal. There's the D in 3 and D. Green against Herter. He's feeling it. It's hauled in by Herter. Sacramento has gone one of four here in the third from range. Pass to Sabonis. And here's Fox. The three. The shot is good on the assist by Sabonis. For three. Sabonis has got six assists in the game. Herder against Green. And again, another missed shot. For Sacramento, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. I don't know if you push the panic button now, but that's the fourth personal. And he needs to stay aggressive out there. So it's going to be interesting to see how he plays moving forward. And the Rockets making a change here. Smith's checked in. Lyles, he's checked in for Sacramento. 
Now here's Green. He's got 13. From the low block. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Sacramento has gone two for five from three since halftime. Fox the pass to Lyles. Now here's Herter. Back to Lyles. Pass to Monk. Clock at six. Fox with the ball. Launches a three. And the Kings with another three. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. It's timeout called the Rockets. Well, without question, De'Aaron Fox displaying all his skills today. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. So for the Rockets, Landale comes in for Shangun, and Green is subbed in for Smith. Here's Brooks. He's got 18. Green with a screen on Monk. The drive by Brooks. Two points. That one goes. Brooks has got 20. And what a drive from Brooks. Just carving through the defense like me on the slopes in Aspen. Sabonis outside. Double team on Fox. Down low. It's so much fun getting to watch Sabonis go to work inside. And you're going to get a double-double pretty much any night from him. The points are always there, and he can rebound with the best of them. Sabonis, a force in the NBA. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Kings. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up with that confidence. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. Marjanovic checked in for the Rockets. Sinks the second. Well, Sabonis is an unselfish player. You can see it in the actions out there on the floor. He's trying to get the best out of both himself and his teammates. Green finds Van Vliet. Pass to Brooks. Just five on the clock. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And a moment to check out the 2K leaderboard. Here were the best rebounders last season. Damana Sabonis on top. And this is someone who loves being aggressive on the glass. He proved it last season with how dominant he was collecting rebounds. Back to Fox. Driving inside. And it's good for two. Fox has got nine Assisted. points now in the quarter. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Monk against Brooks. Called in by the Kings. They've led by as many as 11. Fox outside. Outside Herder. Back to Fox. Fox double team. Sabonis outside. The basket's good. Off the assist from Fox. Fox has got six assists now in the game. Houston has got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Screen by Marjanovic. Counted from distance. Van Vliet's got 10 points. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because it seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. And the Kings call time here. And a new group getting ready for the Rockets. Shangun checked in for Marjanovic. Whitmore comes in for Brooks. Bullock, he's checked in for Green. And it's Thompson in for Fred Van Vliet. Duarte, he's checked in for Sacramento. Mitchell comes in for Fox. Here's Duarte. Back to Lyles. Monk for three. 
And it's Whitmore with the rebound. Houston has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Pass to Thompson. Here's Whitmore. The three ball. And the Rockets hit again from deep. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. Mitchell against Thompson. The ball's knocked loose. Shane Goon with a steal. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got rebound number 11. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Pass to Monk. Picked by Sabonis. Clock at four. The shake. And Monk lays it in. Monk's got his third basket on the night right there. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Here's Sabonis, following the score by Houston. Pass to Duarte, fires the three. The shot is good on the assist by Sabonis. Sabonis has got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And here is Thompson. Green with a screen on Mitchell. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's De'Aaron Fox making highlights for Sacramento, helping them space the floor. Two triples in that quarter. Three for the game. More 2K action in just a moment. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create, freeing everybody up, and that cut was wide open. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. The Kings leading. Whitmore is out there with Reggie Bullock. Then there's Alperon Shangoon. Then it's Thompson. And it's Holiday in at the one. That's the five for Houston right now. And it's Fox missing. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for the Rockets. And out of bounds. Sacramento will have it. And the Rockets making a change here. Tate's checked in. Rockets. Number eight. Jayshon Tate. So it's Sacramento now. Here's Monk. Let's it go. 14. Nice jump shot. And the Kings lead by nine. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Here's Whitmore. Shangu in the screen. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on JaVale McGee. In addition to skill set, most rookies need to adjust physically to the NBA. Not Whitmore. He's got grown man strength. And he drops the first. They're doing some good work at the line this half. So he gets them both. The Kings shooting an efficient 57% tonight. 
Fox against Thompson. Lyles a screen. Puts up a three. Bullock puts it in. The Rockets trail. Here's Tate. Up and in on the layup. Did you see that? I mean, going right to the rim. That's how you finish in the open floor. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. So it's Sacramento now. The Rockets getting their last shot to go. Count that one. And the Kings lead by seven. Great setup there by their setup man and De'Aaron Fox. Thompson passes to Tatum. To the middle. Here's Shangoon. In tight, he gets the jumper to fall. Shangoon's got 20. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. Now take a look at it. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Here's Duarte. Back to McGee. And McGee with the stuff. Oh, nice one-handed jam, NBA. Hey, little exclamation point. Pass to Shangun. McGee with a double team. The three from Thompson knocks it down from distance. And this is big for Thompson's confidence. He needs to keep hitting from downtown. Thompson against Fox. The steal. Here's Bullock. Lays it up and banks it in. Now just a two-point Kings lead. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Here's Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. Fox, Fox getting some room and getting up. The Rockets have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Pass to Whitmore from deep three-point land. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Now Monk. Lyles a screen. Six to shoot. Fires from 14. Rockets with a rebound. shangun has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Here's Tate. Tries again. And he lays it in. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Now here's Fox. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That one on Shangun. At the line for the Kings, Javel McGee taking two shots. good. McGee, Smith, he's checked in for Tate. Herter's checked in for the Kings. And he makes both free throws. And so Thompson will bring it up for the Rockets. Four-point game. Pass to Whitmore. To the inside. Here's Shangun. And Shangun throw it down. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, VA. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. Now here's Herder. Blocked. Here's Whitmore. Herder defending. Here's Smith. He nails it. And we're tied. They're finding ways to get the ball to the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Up top, McGee. It's Monk on the wing. Back to McGee. Another shot. Gets the bucket and the foul. That one on Shangun. And here in the fourth, he's been zeroed in, hitting some big time buckets. At the line for the Kings, Javel McGee. One shot. Free 
Throws good. McGee. For Houston, they've gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. Green with the ball. Green to the rack. Brooks outside. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Shangun. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Shangun's got 16 points here in the second half. I mean, this is why Van Vliet's teammates like playing with him. Because he looks to set them up with his pass. Down low. And McGee with the stuff. It's a beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch. Great flush. Van Vliet on the wing. He's covered by Fox. Fires for three on oh, target the from range. Fox. Fox has got five three. points in the quarter. He started to pick it up from downtown. Made just one in the first half, but he's drained three more since. Van Vliet, pass to Shingu, shoots over McGee. And that one hits the back iron. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. you got to play tough, physical defense. Now here's McGee. Stolen by Van Vliet. Here's Brooks. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Brooks is one hard-working man. He runs into a foul and still gets a shot off. And the first one at the line is good. And some changes here for the Kings. Sabonis, he's checked in for McGee. Keegan Murray comes in for Lyles. And Harrison Barnes is subbed in for Monk. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Sacramento has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Offensive board. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Here's Shangun. And Shangun throw it down. Oh, good recognition from Smith Jr. Now, sensing the defense over commitment and punishing them for it. Pick by Sabonis. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Back to Fox. From outside the arc. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got rebound number eight now. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Herter. Is the number three pick in the 2022 NBA draft. Smith Jr.'s ceiling is considered to be very high. Chip Harvey, Smith. Two shots. The first one falls. If they want to come away with a victory, they just need to keep knocking down those free throws. Falls, so he hits both of them. The Kings leading. Sabonis outside. Pass to Fox. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Van Vliet, the pass to Brooks to take the lead. Called in by the Kings. Sabonis has got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. And it's in there. Herter's got 19 points. 
good sign that Herter's learning how to take that kind of contact and still score. Smith with a screen on Herter. Green with the ball. Checked by Murray. Oh, Green with a strong take. Instead of risking something on the perimeter, he just works it inside. And no reason to settle in that situation. If they're going to give that up, he's going to take all of it. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Count it, and one. He'll have a chance in the three-point play. That one on Shangun. Third team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. Demontis Sabonis at the line for one. And it's the Rockets with the ball. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Shangun. Second shot opportunity. And he lays it up and in. Shingun's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Oh, here in the fourth quarter, he's 5 for 7 from the field. Pick by Murray. Fox the pass to Murray. Now Sabonis. Outside Herder. Back to Sabonis. Shoots over Shingun. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Herder. Sabonis has got 14 points here in the second half. Here's Van Vliet. Brooks a screen on Fox. Three-pointer Van Vliet. The rebound by Murray. Murray's got four rebounds in the game. Herter against Green. Herter passes to Fox. Outside Barnes. From deep. Smith with the rebound. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Here's Green. Gets rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got rebound number 15 here tonight. The Rockets pull it in. This lead is up for grabs. Yeah, each possession has an importance. Van Vliet against Fox. Smith with a screen on Fox. Three-pointer Van Vliet sends it home from three-point land. I mean, you have to love the intensity Van Vliet plays with in these situations. He's always ready to meet a challenge. Now here's Fox. Here's Sabonis. The basket's good. Off the assist from Fox. Sabonis has got seven points here in the quarter. And that's the reason why Sabonis gets the rock. He's just upping the end. Fox against Van Vliet. Over Fox. And the basket by Van Vliet. Oh, and he likes the mid-range, Jay. You have to get right up on him if you want to stop him. against Van Vliet. Sabonis with a screen on Van Vliet. Let's it go. 14. Shots good by Sabonis. Sabonis has got 25 points. And Sabonis showing no fear coming through. Big time there. Van Vliet against Fox. Here's Van Vliet. Tight defense on him. Outside. Green. The rebound by Murray. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Kings. Three-point lead. Fox the pass to Sabonis. Barnes with it. And here's Fox. From behind the arc. And the three-pointer goes. Fox has got 36 points. Fox stepping up in the clutch here. Timeout call. Houston. They're down by six. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? No doubt. They've got to get a quick bucket here. It's funny. At this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point. Van Vliet, the pass to Shangun. Oh, he nails it! And now they trail by just four. You have to be accurate there. 
Very little room for error in passing on the interior. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Thirty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter, and they go to the intentional foul. Fourth personal foul, fifth team foul. At the line for the Kings, the Aaron Fox. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that puts him up five. And so both free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. Stellar work at the charity strike, trying to build out this lead. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Timeout called. Houston, they're behind by six. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth. seconds left in the final quarter and he buries it and we've seen him do it in finals games Van Vliet loves the big spot <laughs> wants to be that guy personal foul team is in the penalty shooting for Sacramento Kevin Herter at the line for two As the first free throw misses, we'll see if he can hit the second. And he ends up making the second. And that puts him up five. 24 seconds left in the final quarter. And not a moment to lose on this possession. Time is not on their side right now. They're aware. He's been tremendous at corralling misses all night long. Yeah, it's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight. He's in the right spot all the time. Shooting for Sacramento. DeMontis Sabonis. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. And it looks like they just won't have enough left here at the end. Yeah, they simply ran out of time and energy. <laughs> What a play from the young fella. Jabari Smith Rockets comes foul. through in the clutch. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. Taking two shots. Good on the first. And that puts him up five. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Green for three. The shot, no good. So it's Sacramento picking up the win. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? HB, you have playoff experience. What's your advice to these teammates to get to that level? We have the talent, we have the coaching. It's just a matter of every day approaching that with that mindset that we're going to go take it. I think if we come out with the energy and focus that we've shown that we can do, uh, we'll put ourselves in a great position to have fun the postseason. The mental is just as important as the physical. Thanks so much, HB. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. <laughs>